Good morning, student. In this part, we will discuss the growth of pollen tube and double fertilization. Growth of pollen tube and double fertilization. Let us talk about the pollen tube formation. When the pollen grains liberated from the anthers and reaches to the stigmatic surface, reaches to the stigmatic surface, they start they start germination and forms the pollen tube and you know that this this pollen grain is the two cell stages one is the tube cell or vegetative cell and other one is the generative cell and coated by two covering in tile and exine. When pollen tube emerges, the generative cell divides into, divides and forms the two male gamete. So the two male gamete, that is called sperms, and this one is the tube nucleus. What is the essential condition for pollen germination? High relative humidity, high relative humidity is the essential condition for the germination of this pollen grain. The stigma also secrete water and various nutrients. The pollen tube growing towards the embryo sac, growing towards the embryo sac and at regular interval, and at regular interval, there are callous plug. These are the callous callous plugs callous at regular interval there are the callous plug and this callous plug restrict the cytoplasm to the apical region this restrict the cytoplasm to the apical region these are the sperm nuclei the tube nucleus this restrict the cytoplasm towards the apical region of the pollen tube now the next step is the entry of pollen tube into the entry of pollen tube into the embryo sac. I am drawing diagram here. This is the ovary. Inside the ovary, ovule is present, or inside the ovule, embryo sac is present. Or this embryo sac have the three antipodal cells in this side. That is, this is the chalaja land, or this is the micropylar end, two polar nuclei two synergids and one egg cell. Now, this is our next step. This is the next step. How this pollen tube enters into the embryo sac. There are three possibilities. There are three possibilities. First possibility through micropylar and through the micropyle. This is called porogamy. Second possibility through this side that is chalaja. Through chalaja that is chalazo, chalazogamy. Or third possibility is 
misogamy. There are three possibilities, but the most common is the porogamy. That is, the pollen tube enters into the embryo sac through the through the micropylar end. To the micropylar end. I am drawing a embryo sac here which is the female gametophyte. These three cells, these three cells, one, two, three, are the antipodal cells. These two are the polar nuclei. Before fertilization, they fuse and form the secondary nuclei. They all are these are these two nuclei are haploid. These two are synergids. This one is the egg cell. A mass of finger like projection per gen at the base of at the base of synergids at the base of synergids called filiform apparatus. Fili form apparatus. This filiform apparatus guides the entry of pollen tube into the embryo sac. There are two synergids. This is the micropylar end, this is the chelarger end. There are two synergids. One of the two synergids start degenerating. Start degenerating. And the filiform apparatus of this degenerating synergid guide the entry of pollen tube into the embryo sac. When the pollen tube enters in this cell, when pollen tube rupture, the one male gamete fuses this egg nucleus, egg nucleus and forms the zygote and one male gamete fuses with this secondary nucleus, this secondary nucleus and forms primary endosperm nucleus, endosperm nucleus or this syngamy Synergy means fusion of this egg nucleus and this sperm nucleus. This is called syngamy and plus and triple fusion. Triple fusion. Triple fusion. These two polar nuclei fuses and form the secondary nucleus, and this secondary nucleus fuses with the one male sperm nuclei and forms the primary endosperm nucleus this is the triple fusion this is the triple fusion this is the correct this is this is called double fertilization this is called double fertilization double fertilization is the characteristic feature of angiosperm this double fertilization double fertilization was discovered by Navashin in Lilium and Fritillaria or this is the characteristic of angiosperm this is the characteristic of angiosperm 
Now, the post fertilization changes will take place, and this part we will discuss in the next lecture.